What's up guys, I'm Chiggs and you are watching Chiggs Tech Reviews. And today I've got my hands on the X92 Octa-Core Android TV box. So as usual, we begin with a quick unboxing followed by a series of tests testing 4K video, HD streaming, gaming and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is S912 Octa-Core running at 2GHz. The GPU is the Mali T820. You've got 3 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi supporting BGN and AC, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 Marshmallow supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and this supports HDR10. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual. I've got a power adapter here. HDMI cable, a remote control, and last but not least, the X92 Android TV box. So here is the nice looking X92 Android TV box. You've got a reflective shiny black finish at the top with the X92 logo. On the front you have an LCD display, and if we keep going, you've got a full size SD card slot and four USB ports. On the back of the unit, you have a network LAN port, optical out, AV port, HDMI port and your power socket. Check this out guys, you've got a built-in Wi-Fi antenna. This is a built-in high gain Wi-Fi antenna. You've got dual band Wi-Fi so I'm expecting a strong connection. Nothing on the other side and we're back to the front. This is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So this is quite a nice stylish looking Android TV box. Let's bring in the H96 Max and compare the size. You can see the X92 is bigger by a few centimetres and the X92 is a millimetre or two thicker. In terms of weight, they are more or less the same. So now I'm going to hook this box up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how well it performs. I'll be right back. So here is the home screen for this brand new Android TV box. I like this home screen, it looks good and is nice and easy to navigate. So all the large and medium icons are fixed and you cannot change them, however the small icon row at the bottom can be changed to suit your needs, just hit the plus sign and select your favourite apps and they will immediately appear at the bottom. So let's have a quick look at system storage. So you have 32 gigs of internal storage in this box, from that you have an available 24 gigs. And if we go to about, you will see that this is running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So let's have a look at the app drawer. So these are all the apps you get on the system as standard, I haven't installed anything, these are your standard apps. You have YouTube, Netflix, plenty to get you started and of course the full Google Play Store, so you can go ahead and download any app you like. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung phone. As you can see, Miracast works really well. There is no lag whatsoever. It's very fast and accurate screen mirroring. So you basically have KD Player, which is a custom version of Kodi 17.1 Krypton. You can, of course, go to the Google Play Store and install the latest 17.4 Krypton, should you wish. So for the next test, we're going to be running 4K video samples from a USB drive and we're going to be doing that from the standard movie player. So let's go ahead and play the first file. Adriano shoots, it's a typical Adriano shot. Unable to really test Courtois, but Coque with the ball via to... So that was testing 4K samples from a USB drive, and as you saw, they played amazingly well. So let's move on now to the YouTube test. So you're able to stream a maximum resolution of 1080p on YouTube. They think that you'll always be protected and cared for. Then, one day, you realise that's not true. These visions, as you call them. What do you see? I see a tower. A man in black. They're just dreams. They're not real, Jake. So having a quick look at CPU-Z, you can see that this box is rooted from standard. So let's move on now to the gaming test.
So here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed test. We've got 26.75 megabits per second download and upload speeds of 9.60 megabits per second. And I was using a 40 meg broadband connection to test these speeds. So the X92 achieved a total benchmark score of 42,730. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart. This chart simply shows you which are the highest overall performing boxes. However, when choosing a TV box, you must also consider other factors such as the home screen, Android version, size, appearance, and of course, the price. So as you can see, the X92 has taken position 4 with an impressive benchmark score of 42,730. It'll be interesting to see which TV box I review next and what overall performance it will get. Please be aware the prices shown are just a guideline as they are constantly changing on a daily basis. So there you have it guys, that was the amazing X92 Android TV box. This is simply a powerful octa-core TV box with a strong Wi-Fi connection and a great build quality. I am very impressed with this Android TV box. You can play any game you like, plays 4K 10-bit videos files with ease, great home screen and interface, I love the design and LCD at the front. You have four USB ports and a full-size SD card slot. Only thing missing from this box to make it a super perfect Android TV box is USB 3. Had they included one USB 3 port, that would have been simply off the hook. You got a very high impressive benchmark score, but the most amazing part is the price. I can't believe that you can pick this up for under $80. The price is actually incredible for what you're getting, as for this type of performance, you would easily be paying well over $100. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. So as usual, I'll put a coupon code in the description so you guys can get an even better discount. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.